everybody. Um, Sarah here and it's Sunday, March 22nd and I'm at home probably like all of you guys but I'm missing my cyclist crew, my Sunday morning cyclist crew so I thought I would do a core and stretching from home and share it with all you guys in case you wanted to follow along. Um, all you need is a mat or maybe a towel, something that will give you something soft to be on when you're um, down on the ground. And I've just got two pillows beside me, not necessarily needed, but um, could come in handy. That's pretty much all you need for equipment. Maybe you're just coming to this from having gone for a run or a cycle or just being inside and wanted to do a little core and stretch break. So regardless of why you're here, um, hopefully this will give you a little little bit of a workout and a little bit of um, some stretching. I also made a playlist. I'm not attaching it to this. This is clean sound, as clean as it can be in my apartment. Um, but there is a playlist if you go to my Spotify that's just called Core and Stretch March 22nd if you'd like to use two devices <laughs> and play music while this is here. Otherwise, maybe listen to um, whatever you like to listen to when you're doing this kind of um, exercise. So there it is. Uh, I'll give you a second. You can pause me if you want to go throw that playlist on. Uh, otherwise, we will get set up here. So we'll just start in a seated position at the front of our mat, maybe closing our eyes, relaxing our shoulders here and starting with a nice deep breath, inhaling and exhaling. Maybe taking two more here. Inhale. Exhale. And last one. Inhaling. And exhaling. Beautiful. So like always in this class, we're going to do three core exercises twice each. Uh, first time a little longer than the second time and we'll wrap through that and then we'll head into some stretching. So for our core, we're gonna come down onto the mat and I want you to bring both arms and legs up towards the ceiling here, facing each other, making sure that that lower back stays flat to your mat. And we're slowly gonna take our opposite arm and opposite leg and lower them towards the ground here. You're gonna pause and you're gonna slowly bring that back up to center and switch sides. So as you do this, I want you to think about keeping that core engaged and nice and tight so that that lower back stays on the mat here. The slower you go, the more you're gonna feel this. I also want you to only take that leg down to the spot where you can keep that connection and then slowly bring it back up. It doesn't look like it's gonna feel like a lot, but if you do this right and move slowly, you should really feel it through that core. So continuing here, nice and controlled, slowing it down if you're moving quickly. So we're gonna do this for about 10 more seconds and then we're gonna meet with those arms and those legs straight up towards the ceiling and we're gonna go into a little pulse. So we're just gonna lift that lower back off of the mat and we're gonna pulse it out. So, Arms can stay straight up towards the ceiling or if it feels more comfortable, they can come to the side or just behind that head. Now remember, they're not pulling if they're behind the head and we're gonna squeeze that core, lift those shoulder blades off the ground and we're gonna do a 20 count pulse right here. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, release. Beautiful. Let those arms and legs go. Take a deep inhale breath here. Inhaling, exhale, and release. Okay, core exercise number one is done. We're gonna go into core exercise number two. So we're gonna take it into a basic but effective bicycle. So I want you to take your palms and bring them back behind your head. Once again, we're not pulling up on the neck here. We're just using the hands for support. Take those knees, bring them in towards your chest. We're gonna take opposite leg to opposite, opposite knee rather to opposite elbow. And pause and switch. 
So once again, we're thinking about keeping that core engaged here, nice tight belly, close to the mat, and we're moving nice and slow. It does not matter if those elbows and those knees touch here. What we want to ensure is that we find that slow controlled movement so we get that nice work in through our obliques. So we're gonna stay here for about another 20 seconds or so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pulse five to one side and five to the other. Don't worry, I'll tell you how to do that in just a second. Holding here, breathing, 10 more seconds. Then we're gonna pause with our left elbow towards our right knee in three, two, one. So bring your left elbow towards your right knee and we're gonna do, once again do that little pulse crunch. So we're gonna come up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause and switch. Right elbow to the left knee, here we go, squeeze that belly, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause and release. Let it go, take a deep breath here, inhale, exhale, sigh it out. Beautiful, okay. Exercise three, we're gonna come over onto our belly and we're gonna come into a plank position. So your elbows are gonna be underneath your shoulders here. Your forearms are gonna be like little train tracks against each other. Your feet can be together or hip width apart, keeping those hips in line with the shoulders here. So what we're gonna do is we're either gonna just stay right here or we're gonna lift up that right leg, pause, lower it down, lift up that left leg, pause, lower down. So you're either holding a plank here or you're slowly lifting up that right leg, bringing it back down, lifting up that left leg, bringing it back down, holding that core nice and tight here, up and down, up and down. Beautiful. We're going to do five more breaths right here and then we're going to come lower down, take a rest before we head into that second set. Three, two, one, beautiful, from wherever you are, drop to that belly, take your left cheek, plant it on your mat, arms come by your side here, deep inhale breath, exhale, let it go. Beautiful work. All right, we're gonna take a quick little lower back stretch before we come back through and do that core set one more time. So I want you to take your palms, Plant them in towards your chest right here, nice and tight. And then we're gonna start to draw that chest through. Elbows to in towards your chest. Shoulders relax your shoulder blades together on your back, maybe closing your eyes. You can stay here pressing into those palms, or if it feels good, press further into those palms, straightening out those arms, coming up, shoulder blades together on your back. We'll take a nice deep breath here, inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful, from here, press into those palms wherever you are. Your hips come to your heels, arms can be in front or by your side, knees can be together or apart, child's pose here. So we're just gonna take two or three breaths right here to take a quick little reset, and then we're gonna head back in to our second round of core. Beautiful and gently make your way back up. Here we go, second set of core. So coming around back onto your back, we're gonna start that again. You're gonna take your arms and your legs both up to the ceiling here, and we're gonna uh, lower opposite arm and opposite leg. Here we go. So slow and controlled again, keeping that core tight. Pause, and then bring them back up. Slow and controlled here, keeping that core nice and tight, and back up. You can be moving at your own pace here, whatever feels good for your body, but the main thing, once again, is to make sure that you maintain that connection between your lower back and the mat, and that you are breathing here. Only taking that leg as far down as you can still maintain that connection. Beautiful. Remember to breathe here. So important. Maybe again, closing those eyes if that feels good. 
Yes. Okay, going into that little pulse again, we're just gonna do a 10 count this time. Coming back in three, two, one. Beautiful, so those arms can stay up if you prefer. They can come down to your side or they can come behind your head. Shoulder blades lift off the mat, squeeze that core. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Nice, take a deep breath here, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful, okay, next up, bicycle. Once again, we're gonna bring those knees towards our chest, and then we're gonna take our hands, bring them behind our head, and we're gonna take opposite knee to opposite elbow, and here we go. So again, it does not matter if these two touch, I just want you to find that slow control, keeping that core nice and tight here, nice and engaged. Again, maybe closing those eyes if that feels good and remembering to breathe. Breath is so important here. Beautiful. All right, 10 more seconds right here. We're gonna do that same thing again, five count pulse on each side. Returning to right elbow to left knee to start in three, two, one. So coming up, right elbow to left knee, and we pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come to center and switch. Left elbow to right knee. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, release arms and legs. Come onto your back, inhale, exhale, let it go. Fabulous, okay, one last little bit of core. We're gonna come to plank one final time and then we're gonna move on to that stretching. So you're gonna come roll onto that belly, come onto those forearms, Elbows underneath shoulders here in a nice plank position. Feet can be hip width or together. Squeeze that belly and here we go. You either stay here, lift up that right leg, lower it back down. Lift up that left leg, lower it back down. Beautiful, staying right here. Keeping your eyes down on your mat so that your neck stays straight. We want that neck and that spine in one straight line here. Breathing, we're gonna be here 10 more seconds to finish off our core, squeezing that belly, lifting those legs for five, for four, three, two, and one. Nice work, come down onto that mat. This time that right cheek rests on the mat, arms by your side, deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. So just take a moment here to settle. We're gonna come through that lower back stretch again. This time, you can do the same thing as we did last time, or we're gonna come to a sphinx pose. So for sphinx, I want you to come up and you're gonna take your elbows and bring them underneath your shoulders. We're gonna take those forearms to the mat and we're gonna start to just gently squeeze those shoulder blades together on our back, lifting that chest up. Now it's not gonna look like much, but as you press into those forearms and bring your chest forward, squeezing those shoulder blades on your back, you should start to feel a nice little stretch through that lower back. And continuing to breathe here, inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful, one more breath, inhale and exhale. Fabulous. All right, gently release. You're gonna press into those palms, take your hips to your heels, come back, child's pose. Now once again, your knees can be nice and wide. I like to take mine nice and wide. Sometimes they can be together. Your arms can be in front or they can be by your side. Honestly, it's whatever feels good for your body right here. And settling in, sinking here, thinking about maybe drawing that weight back a little bit allowing that weight to come back more into those hips, lengthening out that lower back. Beautiful, and just breathing here. Fabulous.
fabulous. From here, we're gonna come onto our hands and knees and go through some cat cow. So coming up onto your palms, your hands and knees, your knees underneath your hips, your palms underneath your shoulders. You can leave those toes untucked or you can tuck them under if that feels more comfortable for your body. So starting in a neutral position in that spine, on the inhale breath, you're gonna just take your chest forward, looking up towards the ceiling. Again, maybe closing those eyes and on your exhale, we're gonna arch that back like an angry cat. So we get about seven to 10 breaths right here. You're gonna take this at your own breath pace, inhaling and exhaling as you see fit. Moving with the breath, feeling that body. Again, maybe taking this opportunity to keep those eyes closed, to go a little inward and see how this feels here. And if at any point along the way you find a spot that you just kinda wanna stop, pause and explore a little, please be my guest, do so. This is your time and I want you to use it however it best feels for your body. All right, we're gonna take one last breath cycle here. So making your way through that at whatever pace you need to. And then when you've completed that, you're gonna gently make your way back up onto your knees. And we're gonna meet on our knees together to stretch out those legs. So we're gonna start, this is actually where you're gonna grab those pillows if you need them. We're gonna start with our left leg here. I want you to bring your left foot forward in front of you and point your left toes towards you. I mean, you may not find you need the pillows or want the pillows, but this is how you'll use them. You'll keep the pillows upright beside you, and then you're slowly either gonna stay, well, one right here, if this feels good to your body. You just wanna be able to feel that lengthening through the back of the left leg. Otherwise, if you need more of a stretch, you can begin to slowly, gently make your way over that left leg. So this is where the pillows can come in for support. Again, maybe walking them forward or letting them fall down a little lower if that's where it feels good. Or you might find that you don't need them and you can just rest your hands on the mat. Again, listening to your body here, finding whatever place feels good. And I always like to remind my students that the end game is not how far you make it in a stretch. It's about getting the right feeling and the lengthening and the opening. So what I want you to take assessment of your body right now is, are you holding on to tension? Are you getting into an awkward position like this is and clenching up? It's okay, it's pretty normal, but notice that you're doing it. Release, let it go, and just breathe. Continue to inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Maybe you can hear the seagulls outside my window. All right, from here, I want you to gently make your way back up. If you're using pillows, you can bring them back up, use them to support you to come. And then we're gonna take that left foot. We're gonna give it a gentle shake behind us, using those pillows for support, little release, and we'll reset on the other side. So I want you to take that right foot forward first. Now, point those right toes towards you. And again, we're just gonna hinge the hips over that right leg. So this is what it looks like right here. And again, using those pillows if you need to, slowly making your way over that right leg. Remember, the end game is not to be able to touch your nose down to your shin. Maybe some of you are really flexible and you can do that, awesome. Doesn't matter though. What I want you to get out of this is a nice lengthening through the back of the right leg. So take your time, breathe. Maybe noticing that you're able to sink a little deeper with each passing breath here. From here, I want you to slowly, gently begin to make your way back up using those pillows if you did, and then let them support you. Take that right leg, give it a little gentle shake behind you, try not to hit your couch if you have one right behind you like I do, and let it go. Fabulous. Okay, you can move those pillows to the side. We're going to take a quadriceps stretch. So for I want you to come to the top of your mat, and you're going to bring your knees mat width apart, and your feet are gonna come just outside your hips here. 
And from here, we're gonna start to make our way back. So maybe right here already, you can feel a really nice stretch through those quads. If that's the case, I invite you to just stay right here. Otherwise, you can begin to slowly start to make your way back a little farther, maybe forearms, and that's where you feel it. Or maybe making your way down all the way onto your mat. Now, if you're here, again, the end game isn't to come all the way down. It's to feel that really beautiful lengthening through your quadriceps. So wherever you are, maybe closing your eyes and breathing. Now, option two, if this does not work for your knees, I want you to come to your belly and you're gonna do this one leg at a time. Take your right hand, bring it under your forehead and take your left hand and bring it to your left foot. Pull it in and you're gonna take this quad stretch one leg at a time, okay? So, you can choose to be in whatever position feels best for you. I prefer saddle, the first one, but if you prefer to take it one leg at a time, I'm gonna let you know when we are halfway. So again, wherever you've chosen to breathe, be. <laughs> wherever you've chosen to be, I want you to breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. Once again, noticing if your body sinks a little deeper with each passing breath. Feeling that lengthening, that opening a little bit of peace. Now if you're holding on to one leg, you can switch sides. If you're in saddle, the first position, you're just going to stay where you are. And again, if you're not already down to the ground, Maybe, maybe, seeing if your body feels a little bit more open now, starting to make your way down. Again, though, that does not matter. That is not the end game. I don't care where you land. I just want you to be able to get that beautiful lengthening through those quadriceps. So wherever you are, you're just going to continue to breathe. Take our last breath here on this side. So wherever you are, let's take one inhale together, inhaling. Exhale, let it go. All right, we're gonna gently make our way back up, meeting in either a tabletop on hands and knees or in a downward dog. So from wherever you are, you can make your way there, however it makes sense. Coming onto the mat, again, tabletop, just in hands and knees, you're gonna gently shake out one leg then the other, if this is where your body needs to be. Otherwise, you can pop up into a downward dog. Booties in the air, hands are about mat width apart, feet are about hip width apart, bending one knee and then the other, pressing into those palms to lengthen through that lower back and the legs here. And again, the goal of this is just to release that fresh blood back through those legs after that stretch. All right, from here, we're gonna take our right leg, bring it into the air, right knee to right wrist. We're gonna come into pigeon pose. So I'm gonna show you this first, and if this doesn't work for your body, I'll show you an alternative. So in pigeon, I just need you to line your hips up to the front of your mat, and then find a comfortable spot for your shin. And once you're square, you can begin to make your way forward over that right knee. Now, this is a great spot to throw out that pillow if you need it coming down, maybe resting that head on your pillow if your forehead doesn't touch the mat. Otherwise, you can stack your palms one on top of the other or just take your forehead right down to the mat. So holding here in pigeon. If this doesn't work for your body, you're gonna come onto your back. You're gonna take thread the needle. You're gonna cross your right ankle over your left knee and you're gonna grab the outside of your shin or onto your thigh and you're just gonna gently pull it towards you as you feel an opening through that right hip. And you're just gonna breathe right here, wherever you've chosen to be. Again, I prefer a deep pigeon, so I'll take myself back there. But you need to be in the place that feels good for your body right now. And again, 
again, noticing where you feel that opening, maybe slightly playing with how you shift the weight to feel that opening through the right hip. Again, the most important thing to do here is to just breathe, release any tension you might be holding on to, and allow your body to open. We're going to take one more breath right here on our right side. And then we're going to take our way back to a tabletop or downward dog to switch sides. So bringing your palms in, again pressing into those palms to either press you back into a downward dog or into tabletop if that feels good for your body. And again, just pedaling it out if you're in downward dog or shaking out that right leg a little bit to release that tension again just to get that fresh blood back through those legs and then we switch sides so if you're headed back into pigeon you're going to take your left foot into the air left knee to left wrist again squaring those hips up to the front of your mat finding that comfortable alignment for your shin and gently making your way forward over that left leg if you are taking thread the needle you are coming onto your back and this time you're taking your left ankle over your right knee and then gently pulling from either that right thigh or right shin to pull your leg in towards your chest and get that nice opening this time through your left hip. So again, wherever you've chosen to be, I want you to find stillness and come back to that breath. Once again, maybe closing your eyes to go farther inward. Inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. We're going to take one more breath here on this left side. And then slowly, gently, you're going to make your way back again, either to a tabletop or to downward dog, wherever has felt more comfortable for your, for your body. So pressing into those palms, again, taking those feet back, maybe pedaling one leg and then the other to release that fresh, fresh blood back through that left leg. Beautiful. All right, from here, you're gonna gently make your way onto your back. So coming onto your back, we're gonna take happy baby. So from your back, your knees are gonna come out towards the side. You're gonna take your hands, bring them through center and grab either the outside of your feet, your shins or your ankles. You're gonna to start to pull them down towards the ground as you think about lengthening your lower back onto the mat. So what we're doing is we're lengthening the back, but we're also opening up those inner thighs. Again, closing your eyes here. And if it feels good to gently rock from side to side, you can do so. One more breath right here. And you're going to gently release those legs. So we're going to take a gentle twist to finish here. So legs come down. I want you to take your arms and cactus by your side. And then we're just going to bring our knees together and our knees are bent. Then we're going to take our hips and we're going to shift them slightly to the left as you drop your knees to the right. Oh, nice little back crack there. So from here, you can either continue to gaze up towards the ceiling 
or you're going to gaze the opposite direction of your knee. So you're going to take your gaze to the left, and you're just going to breathe right here. Inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. You're going to gently bring those knees back to center and then we're just going to switch sides. So you're going to shift those hips now to the right and you're going to let your knees drop to the left. Again, your gaze can continue towards the ceiling or you can take it this time towards the right side, the opposite direction of those knees. And again, continuing to breathe here, inhaling and exhaling. Here. Gently bring your knees back up to center and from here I just want you to slowly gently rock and drop them from side to side. So just a gentle drop right to left just releasing any last tension through that lower back. And then from here you're going to finish in a corpse pose. So I just want you to take your legs and your arms out to the side, take up space here. I mean, it might be limited because you're at home, so take up however much space you have. And then just give your body a moment to settle here. We're going to take one last breath together. Inhale. Exhale. Letting it go. One more breath here on your own, on your back. One final moment of stillness. And then slowly, gently begin to make your way back up to a seated position. Whatever seated position feels comfortable. And that is your workout. Thanks so much for tuning in to join me, everybody. I miss you so much. I hope that you are staying safe, happy, and healthy with your loved ones during this time. Um, I am going to try to do this at least once a week and potentially add some others, um, maybe some actual home workouts, because I'm sure, like me, <laughs> you might be going a little crazy. So. Uh, tune in, keep watch on my Instagram, just Sarah underscore Buell underscore, and right here on this YouTube channel, and I will uh, try to get you guys some more content. Okay, until next time. Peace and love.